What's going on guys? It's your boy Fix It Daniel and I got another fix for you today. We are going to be working on the Cadillac, <laughs> the Cadillac SDS. We got some, uh, we got a little issue um, that would might help you guys. Um, some kind of edge, some kind of education that I'm going to show you on this car that you may not have known. So let's get right into it. Welcome to the channel guys if you guys have not seen my stuff please go down and check it out please like and subscribe yes it has been a while and i've been gone i've been working hard and spending time with the family and just doing a lot of stuff going on but i am back i am ready to start working we're going to start with this right, guy so come on and check it out let's check this out with me so what we're going to do today is we are going to replace the the pcv valve in the back we're actually going to make the holes bigger um, I found this on YouTube, a guy by the name of In The Fast Lane. He showed it and um, I saw that on my car and something that could be done. It, what it is is the PCV valve on the crank, on the, uh, the valve covers, causes a lot of crankcase pressure. So as he showed in his video, which I'll put down a link in the description, um, what happens is if, is if that PCV valve gets clogged, or the hole gets smaller, the crankcase pressure can can actually cause a lot of other problems like your uh, your valve cover gas seals could break or something really more catastrophic. So he showed in his video how to do it and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it as well. I'm gonna do it on my vehicle, I'm gonna fix it just in case that ever happens. I haven't, don't have the issue of it yet and it's just more of a precautional thing. So what we'll do is we'll get in there and we'll show you but this pcv valve it has one hole on top two holes on the bottom now what it does is it helps prevent a lot of the kink case pressure gets all that pressure out of there through that pcv valve well the hole is really small so we're going to take some drill bits we're going to get one size for the top one size for the, for the two on the bottom and we're going to make them bigger so that way it gets a lot of more of that pressure out so we don't have that issue so Let's go ahead and tear this up and get into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna get into this. So we gotta take this cover off. The PCV valve is in that corner over there. We're gonna start by taking off the power steering cap. Set it right there. Take off the oil cap. Set it right there. And then you just gotta pull up on this. Pull up here, pull up there. It just snaps into place and off it comes. Just sit down right there and make sure you put your caps back on so nothing falls in it like so so let's get a light let's grab the light here all right so hold on all right guys, so we're gonna try and get this PCV valve. Let me show you. Light, I'm gonna get my light to hold in place. All right, so it is this thing right here and you gotta pull it off. So let me see if I can get a better lighting on it. Let's see if you can see it. All right, so we're gonna get this PCV valve off and it focused. So there's a little bit of a, um, of a little like, if you go this way, which is basically, there's a little tab on this side, around this back side, you're going to go this way with it and then you pull it up. So if you get your hand behind it, it's like a little clip. You just get that out of the way and then see it exposes the PCV valve then we get something like a like a uh, kneel nose just try to get a good grip and pull up on it you need something a little more stronger so let's see if we can get let's reposition it and see if we can get a Phillips head under there Alright, here, uh, let me get the light reset and uh, let me get a better position and I'll get it off. Okay guys, I found a way of doing it. 
out. So the guy on the um, on the um, in the fast in the fast lane, he used it on the side, but I found another way of doing it. Just take your trusty channel locks, grab. Let's see if I can get so you can see it. Uh, you so you just grab the top, do a little twist, twist and pull at the same time, and you'll get a good grip. Twist and pull, and boom. Out she comes, and you can see how dirty it is. Gunky, filly type of stuff. Here, so you get a good bit of you. See? see how gunked up that is? This is gunked up, and if it was seriously caused some crankcase pressure blockage. So, we're going to clean this up, make the holes bigger, and we're going to. Hey guys, so we're back. We got this out, and as you see, it is, if we get it focused, it is really gunky. See if we can get it a little focused. There you go. See how gunked up it is on top and there. So, so this is what causes the kink race pressure because of the buildup. So we are going to see, see right there is really gunked up and covered. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole and make this bigger. Clean these up. And there's two holes here at the bottom. We're going to make these bigger. And this should allow a lot more flow and a little less gunk. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and see if we can wipe it off. Oh, here you go. You can see a whole lot better. So see how tiny and small those holes are? We're going to take a 564 drill bit on the bottom. And then on the top, we got a 764. And see, we got a 564 for the bottom. And we got a 764 for the top. So we just take a drill. Drill down into it, drill down into it, make it bigger, clean it up, put it back in, easy peasy, jap it easy. So we're gonna get that going and let's get uh, get it going. Alrighty, you got the drill, got my 564, so we're gonna do in the bottom. We're gonna grab, I don't have a, um, a vise, so I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna take this. Better it down a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right. Couple turns. All right. This will hold it in place. Take our drill bit. Then let's commence on drilling. Let's give it a little bit more torque. Alrighty, let's go for it again. See, made the holes way more bigger. Give us a lot more room. So we'll do the top. Take this one off. Go to our 764. Just like so. Put it on the drill again. And then do the same thing on the top. And then see? That hole is way more bigger. And then now we'll take some uh, brake cleaner, clean it out, and then maybe even get an air chuck and, or you can use a can air and just spray it out. Make sure you got all the shavings because you do not want the shavings falling into this motor. So, carburetor choke cleaner, or you can use brake cleaner, doesn't matter. Um, I feel like this works great because it's for the engine parts. So, take our cap, little spray nozzle -y. 
put that on there take this into the hole Yeah, you definitely want to get this cleaned seriously. All right, get all that gunk buildup out of there. And wipe this off just a little bit. The cap on there. Then, looks good. Now you can go through the extra mile and do like a little bit of a um, uh, air cleaner or you can use air hose. I'm gonna use an air hose, so I'm gonna get my air hose real quick. Get a trusty air hose, it's gonna be a little loud. That's it. Nice and clean through and through. Now we'll go and put it back on the car. All right, guys, so we're back. Gonna put this back right in the hole. The light in the way. All right, just gonna move this out of the way and just put it right back in the hole. Press it down if you have to. So it's back in the hole. And then what we'll do is get something long uh, that might do all right I'm just gonna take a little lug in just gonna put it right over the hole and get it nice and flush you want it flush you want it back to where it was so I don't know if you could see that let's see if we could see get better light okay so see it's kind of flush a little bit you can take something and pound it down a little bit more. So we're gonna just wanna make sure it's nice and sealed. All right, do that check. And then all we do is put that little plug back on. Leave the light right there. Take this plug, it just stamps right back on. You just hover right over it. Push it down till you hear the click. There it is, clicked on. So, and then just, then just reverse do everything. So we're gonna take this off one more time. Take these off. I'm gonna grab my cover. This cover's got little, little mount holes right here. And then this is a little guide that goes in uh, that little, where the grommet is. So I'm gonna flip it back over. Get it all nice and lined up and just push. Just like that. Then put the caps back on. Put this back on. It's a little key thing here. There we go. Nice and good. And then that's it. You shouldn't have any problems. This will take care of the crankcase pressure because we made the holes a lot bigger on top and bottom and we cleaned it out because you saw how gunky it is. And then there you go. Well guys, that's it. It's all done. It'll be, it's ready to go. Won't have any more crankcase pressure problems. Plus I cleaned it, which I needed to be, made it bigger. So that way it won't be all gunked up. So I didn't know it was gunked up, but now it was good to find out. So 
guys well that is it i thank you so much for all 11 support i'm up to 106 subscribers well, actually 107 thanks to uh, a few of my church friends a church family i really do appreciate them doing that um it helps with the algorithm it helps me keep doing more stuff like this but i just really appreciate all those support because without you guys i could never do this i can never show you guys it'll just be me fixing it and me knowing it and that'd be it but I love pouring out my knowledge of someone helping someone else down the road. It may not help you today, it may not help you tomorrow, it may not help you next year, but it will help you sometime when you need it. And that's what matters the most. The information's out there for you to use it when you need it. So, guys, that's it. I do have more, more parts down there ready to do on this car. That will be coming soon in some later videos. But guys, that is it. I thank you so much for all the love and support. Please like and subscribe and keep on fixing on these videos. <laughs> well guys, that's it. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. You guys have a good and blessed day. Thanks very much.